Kabluna by, I'm going to try this, Gontrain de Ponsin. That's my guess. Gontrain de Ponsins. I'm not sure. He was a French guy. In fact, he had this crazy long name. Um, I'll get to this in a second. He had this crazy long name, which they mentioned in the introduction somewhere. His name, yeah, he was a Viscount. Jean-Pierre Gontrain de Montagne de Ponsin. Okay. Uh, so this is a this is a, a a time life book, and for some reason I have no idea where I picked these up along the way. Uh, obviously, I, I would have gotten them used probably for fifty cents each or something like that. Um, but they're very sturdy. They're the, these these time life books. They're, I've got a few of them. They're they're really sturdy, and they 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 don't feel like they're falling apart. And I'm giving them a good read, and uh, I don't treat them with kid gloves. So. Hey, I'm all for them. They do seem to be yellowing a little bit, so I, I don't think that it's acid-free paper or anything like that. Check out this little, this little, uh, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a production uh, decision that didn't need to be made, and it's, I love it. Okay, so what is Kabluna? Kabluna is this, this fella. <laughs> he, um, this was in the, in the 1900s, but I believe the early, maybe mid 1900s, but I think it was the earlier 1900s. Anyway, he's this French guy, and he'd lived in a bunch of different places and, like, out-of-the-way places. And he ended up going to the far north to live with the Inuit, who uh, he definitely calls the Eskimo. But I don't think we call them Eskimo anymore. See these little, these little line drawings here that are throughout? I love it. And he just, this isn't a novel, this is just him talking about his life among these people and what their lives are like. And to me, it's just really, really fascinating. Really, really interesting. Kabluna is sort of like their word for like gringo or you know, outsider or white guy or something like that. Um, and I think that it has the same <clears throat> implications or the same connotations as gringo. That is, sometimes maybe it just means white guy and sometimes it is a little bit less nice, a little bit pejorative, but in any case, uh, yeah, he writes about the, the, the people who are there, how they live, their interactions with him. Uh, I'm going to assume that it's true. I've never looked up any kind of criticism, so I don't know, maybe, maybe his contemporary said that he was, you know, making it up, or maybe, maybe it hasn't held up to time or something like that, but... It's really, really, I found it super interesting. This is not something that I ever had known anything about before. And, uh, and so it's just, it's just all new to me and I loved it. Well, yeah. So the paper itself is, is reasonably thick. Thicker than you might see. I don't know why I have, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, well, Time Life books, maybe these are, Maybe these are kind of junky books. But I don't know why I feel that way. I don't know anything about them except for the ones that I have. Paper is nice and reasonably thick. It is, as I say, I, I think yellowing a bit. Um, it feels really sturdy, and the uh, the font is very readable, and there's reasonable margins for a small book. And uh, yeah, there's I think this is a, look, some photos in the back here of an actual igloo. Really cool, really cool. He's got a fish in his mouth. Uh, I, I think it's really cool. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a whole world that I, I never had read anything about before, didn't really know anything about, I mean. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Kabluna by, here we go again, Gontrain de Ponsin. I don't really know. And uh, yeah, it's put up by Time Life, Time Life Books.